Hello, I'm Meredith Nile. I'm gonna show you how to make some Gans water. This is the Keshi water um, that we're using today. And this is hopefully to keep your communities safe and healthy. And it's both a preventative and it's also a treatment um, for the coronavirus. So what we're going to do today um, is you're going to need a jar and um, we have a couple of jars that I'm going to show you the different stages but today we'll just start off with this jar and um, I'll also put a link below so you can see all the things that you need in order to be able to make it um, but essentially we have strand shredded stranded uh, copper wire we also have solid copper wire um, we also have zinc it needs to be 99% uh, for the zinc and then we also have um, the copper that's been plastic coated. Um, we also need to have a turkey baster and then I like to do my cleaning solution in a spray bottle so um, you can also uh, keep it in just the jar too and put some, dip something into it. Um, the Gans water cannot touch any other metals so make sure the only materials that you're using to store and carry the Gans water is plastic and glass. I prefer glass but plastic is nice for traveling um, and using around the house. So what we'll do first is we've got the, the copper wire, the one that's been stranded, and we're gonna have 10 inches of this. So we'll measure that out. We'll cut it from its source. Um, we also have to take all the plastic coating off. You can use a speaker wire or you can get, um, if you have like a hair dryer that you're not using or you have a uh, lamp that you're not using, you can use the um, stranded wire off of that. Just take the coating off of it. And the other thing too, to make sure, um, we're gonna have to fire this in order to create a negative charge. So when we use the blowtorch and we uh, create that negative charge on it, um, it will turn black. If yours turns silver, then that means it's an alloy and we need pure copper. So um, you can't use that wire, you need to find one that's actually pure copper. So the first step that we'll do is we'll take the um, 10 inches of the copper stranded wire and um, we will blowtorch it. And when we blowtorch it, I think this one just ran out, so we'll have to get another one. But essentially, um, we would blowtorch the uh, wire. And when we blowtorch the wire, it will, will go really, really slow and just until it turns red. And once it turns red, you keep moving. Um, and then after it turns red, it will turn black. So what we're looking for is it to turn black and then that's how we know it's negatively charged. So when one's black, it looks like, it looks like this. So you can see on the bottom of this one how this is all black and that's what it should look like when it's completely charged. Um, so what we'll do is we'll take one of the copper wires, the one that's negatively charged, and we're gonna wrap it leave a little bit of room so that it can go over the side of the cup. We'll just wrap it around a pencil and create a coil. And to me, this Gans water is fifth dimensional. This is how we upgrade our bodies. We get rid of viruses, things that are not organic in our body. Um, and we're able to um, create that fifth dimensional shift where we're charging our body with good metals, um, which is the zinc to be able to um, be a, an electric conductor, because that's what we are, we're electric conductors. Um, and this is amplifying that electric conduction. So we'll take the solid copper wire and we'll just bend the ends of it. So both ends will be bent and we'll put that across the top. And then we'll take the one that's negatively charged, the one that's been um, the torched. Turned, torched. We'll put that here on the center, just like this. Next, we'll take the one that's not been torched and we will put, we'll also make another coil. And that's the positive one. And this is the positively charged one. Now, when you say positive negative, are you talking about the connection on the battery? It's both the battery and the actual coil itself. Okay, okay. Yeah. 
So then this one will be um, the positive one and we'll put that on the side of the cup, just like so. And we wanna make sure that the coil is completely covered. So lengthen the coil just a little bit so that it can go all the way in the water eventually. Then we're gonna be using a salt water solution. And this salt water solution is a 15% salt water solution. So what I've been doing is just taking a gallon uh, container, and it's a glass container, and filling it with two and two thirds of cup salt. Um, and the best salt that you can use for this is canning salt because it dissolves really easily. This salt, um, we used a rock salt, so it's actually a little bit, still needs to dissolve. And you'll just have to keep swirling it around until it finally um, dissolves. And so then we'll pour that salt water into our container. And we wanna make sure that none of the coils actually touch because it can short circuit the circuit that we're creating. And what we're creating is a vortex. We're creating an electromagnetic field um, for this water. And when this water is electromagnetically charged, it arrives in our body as electromagnetically charged. And what it does to the virus is it actually spins the virus. So the virus has a certain um, calibration and when it's touched this with this electromagnetic water, it's going to change the frequency of the virus. So the way viruses work is they actually are, um, they use your body as a host. So they come into their bo your body, they extract your DNA, and they put, your, they put their DNA into your DNA, and then they reproduce themselves by talking to all the rest of your cells. So when we use the, the um, Gans water, what's happening is the electromagnetic frequency of the water is changing the, vo the um, toroidal vortex of the virus, causing it to lose its energy so that it doesn't um, continue to proliferate. So we'll use a zinc plate. It's gotta be 99% zinc to make sure that that's there. And you will have to change the zinc plate sometimes because what we're doing is we're, um, as we're creating this colloidal uh, zinc, we're pulling the zinc out of the um, plate. So it will eventually dissolve and you'll have to replace that. So we'll put that on the side of the plate as well. And then you'll have the three wires, the ones that still have the plastic coating. And we're gonna create a circuit now with the battery. So you'll put one of them, um, the one that has the most plastic gone, you'll wanna put that on the zinc and you'll do just like so. And then let me get, the, I, I use the electric tape to just be able to tape it in place. It makes it a little bit easier. So that's, this is um, one of the, the strands that you'll use, then you'll need another one. And this one will go to the negatively charged one in the center. And just twist that around to create a connection. And then the last one will be for the positively charged one. Making sure you have a good connection with your wires. And you don't want any of the wires to touch because it will blow a circuit. So making sure that the hands, that the coil is completely covered by the water and that it's not touching any of the others, the zinc or the other metal. Then we're gonna take the zinc one and the positively charged one and we're gonna create a circuit with those two. So we're gonna wire these two together And this is our positive charge for the battery. Then we'll take the battery, and we'll put that on, and the positively charged will go to the one, the two that are wired together, which is the zinc and the uh, non-torched coil. So we'll just tape that on here. And then the um, negatively charged one will go on the other side of the battery, just like so. And I just fold it sometimes to be able to keep it all into the battery. Okay. So you've got 
the three all together now. And what you'll see is you'll just kind of wait and eventually it will start producing bubbles. And those bubbles, if you want to look at this one, this is the one that the, um, has been going for just a little while, maybe about 30 minutes. Um, and see how it's starting to change color? The top of it's getting like a little film. Um, and that's the gas starting to turn into the plasma. See how there's little bubbles that are bubbling all around? That's what you're looking for is you'll start to see as the circuit goes, um, it'll bubble up. And make sure that it is when you use the battery, it's a double A battery because any other type of battery will speed up the process too much that it loses the integrity. So making sure that it's a double A, but it doesn't even have to be that strong of a battery, but it does, if you use a weaker battery, it will take a little bit longer. Um, there's also a way to wire two of them together so where you don't have to use a battery at all, but again, it takes a little bit longer to do so. So, um, yeah. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is that the different stages. So once the Keshi water has actually been made, you, this is considered to be your generator. And your generator will then produce a white substance that's cloudy like this. And it will all be at the top and kind of around all the hardware. Um, and once you take that hardware off and you let it settle, this is what it will look like. So this is about um, a couple of hours old. Actually, this is about a day old. Um, so the GANS has all settled to the bottom. And at this area, you never want to touch this because this is what's absorbing the virus. This is what's that electromagnetic current, and we want to keep that um, pure. So don't touch it. Don't drink it. It's not good for you. And then once you have this sitting for a while, um, you'll have more clear water. So this wash you will use five times. and once you do five times it will come to this level and once it comes to this level it'll get a lot more clear um, and that's after on the sixth wash it's considered to be uh, sweet water so once you get the gans water and it's been washed five times um, that means you're taking the the water out of it which i'll show you how to do um, this then creates the sweet water it's the sweet water that you can actually drink and this is what the sweet water looks like so it should be completely clear and when you have this sweet water you won't have any metals in it. There will be no metals. As people have done testing, they see that there's no actual metals inside the water anymore. It literally is an electromagnetically charged water. So um, you, are, you are amplifying your system to become that electromagnetic current in order to be able to receive fifth dimensional uh, atmospheric energy. So that's what we're doing. Um, so the way you do the washes is you use the turkey baster and you pull it out. So since this one has not been washed five times, this is my water that I'm gonna use for cleaning. So I can use this um, on my head, on my body, on my hands, uh, and then on the door handles, in my car. So I'll just pour the top, I'll just pull the top of the water out, and then that will go into the um, spray bottle. And I'll just pull this all the way out until I get down to the bottom. And once I get down to the bottom, I will refill this with fresh drinking water. And that will allow it to keep regenerating. So the GANS, you can actually have it going for over 300 years as long as it stays wet. And it will continue to charge the water. So we'll just keep pulling all this out. And then once we do this, once we pull all this water out, and again, make sure you don't get any of the white particles. Once we pull all that out and we have it done five times, then it becomes that sweet water that we can drink. And that's when you can start your um, treatments and your prevention protocols. Um, your treatment and prevention protocols is you're drinking the water um, every hour and you're taking little sips of it, but it ends up being about two and a fourth of a cup. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll post it to make sure uh, the actual quantity so no one gets confused. Um, but you'll be drinking that and that will help to create that uh, system in your body and, and like I said as it pulls the energy from the virus so it can't spread so I hope you guys are doing well I hope you're enjoying your time at home I'm so grateful that um, we have solutions for the coronavirus and we need not be fear-based because we recognize that we're moving into the fifth dimension and allowing ourselves to really be present with what's happening now because it's a really important time for our consciousness to evolve and this is one of the opportunities that we have to upgrade our consciousness so enjoy your families say well and um drink your cashew water take care